hold on to the ball to drop? So how, how do you try to keep them encouraged? Um, I think they know that I'm gonna keep firing it, um, and so uh, we'll we'll try to get it fixed this next week and uh, correct it going into the next game. Patrick, a couple fourth downs there, fourth and shorts and fourth and quarter. Looked like a one hundred kind of way on the play call. Were you hoping to go for those fourth downs? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm always hoping to go for it, um, but uh, the defense was playing good and we kicked the field goals, and I mean, it set us up to have a situation where we just needed a field goal at the end of the game. Uh, we just didn't convert on it. Yeah, I mean, we, we work on it. Uh, we work on it uh, every year. We've obviously emphasized it this last year after not last after last year not um, uh, converting at the rate that we wanted to. But obviously, we got to keep working on it because uh, we didn't convert in those situations today. No, Travis Kelsey. What kind of impact did that have on you? Yeah, I mean, you're losing um, one of the best, no, I think the best tight end of all time. Um, but guys, other guys got to step up. I mean, it's going to have an impact on the game, but other guys got to step up, and they're going to have to step up in, in moments because I'm sure there'll be times he gets doubled. Um, and so uh, just going to have to rely on these other guys that are, that are young and talented to step up and make plays, and uh, I believe that they will. Patrick, what was the disconnect you thought, I think, with Sky? You, you targeted him a couple times, just couldn't get anything going. Yeah, and just 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 miss. We didn't have that connection. We missed connections uh, here and there. Um, but uh, something you have to continue to work on. Uh, they, like I said, he's one of those guys that has a ton of talent um, that can make a lot of big plays happen. So we'll learn from it and uh, try to be better next time. Hey Patrick, how surprised were you to get the call that you guys were going to go for it on, on fourth and twenty? Um, I mean, it's a situation where. Um, you, you're you going to have to get a stop regardless of three and out. Um, Coach Reed uh, put, decided to put the ball in my hands, and uh, we, were, we were close to getting it. Um, obviously, it didn't work out, but uh, you're going to have to get the three and out regardless either way, um, and it just didn't happen for us there. After Justin Reed used the term in the locker room, the reality check, did you have some sense of that from this game, or what's your biggest takeaway? Um, I mean, it'll, it'll be it'll be good for the young guys to know that we're not going to just uh, kind of walk in and win the game. You're going to have to play. You're going to play good football. We're going to play every team's best shot. Uh, I've, I've preached it to them all all preseason, but they know now. Um, and we're going we're going to go to Jacksonville next week, and that's going to be a good football team. So, hopefully, guys learn from it, get better, and uh, we, and and this one loss doesn't turn into two. Hey Patrick, I know this is one game, but how embarrassing is this given the fact that you guys unfurled the Super Bowl banner? National TV starting a new season, and, and for it to end up like this—it's it, embarrassing for me to lose any time. Um, it, like I said after the ring ceremony, I, I'd moved on to the next season. Obviously, it's cool for the fans to be able to see the banner and drop it at Arrowhead Stadium. Um, but it, this is a whole new year, and I think uh, I know that. And, um, and we're gonna—we're trying to win another Super Bowl, and this is obviously not the way we wanted to start. And so, any time I lose, I'm embarrassed. Um, and so, I'm gonna try to get better so I don't lose more as the season goes on. Patrick, was there a particular point not to watch the Super Bowl presentation out there because of what you just said? I, I didn't watch it. Um, I think I was in the locker room, so it wasn't. I don't even know if I looked at the banner. So, it's, like I said, I've moved on. It's just a new season. Um, my goal wasn't to just win the Super Bowl and be done. Like I'm trying to continue to do it every single year, and I think we got the team, but obviously we have a lot of places we to get better. How much did it, it bother Pat, uh, Trav that he just couldn't, couldn't play tonight? I mean, y'all know Trav. He's kind of like, he's exactly like me. Like, I want to play. I want to be out there with the guys. Um, he works extremely hard to be out there and kind of a freak deal that he didn't, wasn't able to make it. Um, so hopefully we, we'll try to rehab him with these extra days and, and get him going uh, hopefully next, for next week. A couple more guys against Jacksonville. Um, I mean, I'm not going to play anything past Trav. I mean, he was trying to play today. It just literally couldn't. I don't know if it was his decision. It was kind of the the guys above knowing it's going to be a long season. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, he's going to try. He'll do whatever he can to be out there, and uh, hopefully he can clear all those doctor's tests and, and get out there on the football field. Hey, Patrick, what, what do you say to Kadarius Tony after a game where it could have swung a, a different way? He was involved in yeah, I mean, I have, I have trust in, in KT. Um, he, he missed a lot of training camp. Um, obviously, he wanted to play and, and, and fought rehab hard so he could play. Um, and, and stuff's not always going to go your way. Obviously, um, he would have wanted to catch a few of those in the game. But I've trusted that he's going to be that guy that I go to in those crucial moments. And he's going to make the catch and, 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 and win us some seasons like he did last year. So we're going to continue to work him in, get him more and more reps. Um, and I'm sure that, that those drops will kind of disappear. Last one, Blair. Last one, Blair. What's the message that needs to come out of that locker room? Got to be better. Thank you.
Got to be better. And you'd expect better from the reigning Super Bowl champions. But this is the second year in a row that the reigning Super Bowl champion has lost. Last year, the Rams lost to the Bills. This year, it's the Chiefs losing to the Lions. And if you're a Chiefs fan, you're hoping that Kansas City doesn't follow the same script that L.A. followed. They went 5-12 and last season, the most losses by a defending Super Bowl champion all time.